times I feel so invisible. I wonder if I'm here at all. You are. Jumping from the page to the screen, where the crawdads sing is a highly anticipated film based on the best-selling novel. The Marsh Girl, she killed him. It's a fictional story about a murder in North Carolina in the 1960s. But in real life, author Delia Owens is facing questions about a deadly shooting in Africa in the 90s. Editor-in-chief of The Atlantic, Jeffrey Goldberg, first reported that Owens is wanted for questioning in the shooting. I've spoken with many leaders of the criminal investigation department of the Zambian National Police, and they are very, very eager to speak to Delia Owens. In the mid-90s, Delia and her then-husband Mark ran a conservation center in Zambia, protecting elephants from poachers. In 1996, they were the subject of an ABC documentary called Deadly Game, where one scene shows an alleged poacher being fatally shot. NBC News has not reviewed the documentary, and the victim is not identified. Neither is the shooter, a mystery that was never solved. Zambian authorities don't believe that Delia was directly involved in the murder or the disposal of the body. Delia told me point blank that they knew nothing of this murder and they have absolutely nothing to do with it. Years later in 2018, Delia was in the spotlight again, this time for the success of her debut novel, where the Crawdads Sing has sold more than 12 million copies and just spent its 166th week on the New York Times bestsellers list, setting the record for holding the number one spot longer than any other novel. Which I just love this book. It Reese Witherspoon called, chose it for her book club, sing. then produced the movie, which held a star-studded premiere this week and features a title song by Taylor Swift. Every creature does what it must to survive. The movie about a young woman accused of a fictional murder, written by an author, still wanted for questioning in an actual case that's more than a quarter century old. Delia Owens and her legal team have long said she was never involved and there were not any charges in this case. NBC News has reached out to Mark Owens, to ABC News and Zambian officials for comment. We have not heard back. In media reports, Mark Owens, through his lawyer, has always denied any wrongdoing or involvement in this shooting. So, Joe, I mean, could Owens be forced to talk to authorities there in Zambia? There is no extradition treaty between the U.S. and Zambia, so that seems highly unlikely. Okay. But Zambian authorities, according to The Atlantic, say that this is still an open an investigation. There's no statute of limitations for a murder case, so they are still looking into this. It's interesting. It's coming up now, Joe. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.